Then the next one is intelligent. You must be intelligent. God has given us all of us intelligence. Our IQ is there, only thing whether we make full use of or not. Make full use of it. Independable. If you have already given a word, I'll do this on this day, do it now. Dependable. No need. Whatever happens, even if you're sick, done. If there is a reason, you are informed, dependable. You phone and you are nowadays very easy to telephone and all those, inform, that is dependability. You have to show that people can depend on you. If I give a date, I do it by then. If I, I promise, I deliver it. That is dependable. Knowledgeable, of course you must be knowledgeable. If your knowledge is very limited, then your decisions are going to be problematic. That's why they say you must have all information before you make a good decision. Right? All information, good decision. Lack of information, bad decision. Because you have not considered some other information which you did not know. Now that's why even a police, when they do any, uh, any investigation, they will have to have everything. Investigation. Before they make a decision. If they have only a few things and uh, go and catch you because you were there, then they don't have all the information. And they suddenly uh, uh, took a very bad decision and caught you. Later they find another person was the one who did it, but you were there. You just went there and then they didn't really find out and then you were caught. Sometimes people do that type of mistakes. So you must be very knowledgeable, fair-minded. More in, in a country like ours, you must be fair. There are a lot of bad examples in the country where people make decisions without thinking of others. Our college, we have got students and people of various races, various religions. When we make a decision, it should be fair to all. Not only fair to one group, fair to all. And you have to learn to do it. In our country, in many, many colleges and universities where there are people of only one race, they become very, very uh, narrow-minded. They make decisions only for one particular group. And when they get, get out to work, they bring that same pattern outside to go and make decisions. And that is creating lots of problems in this country. Where even government officers who come from single group colleges and universities, they go and make decisions in the government. Very unfair to other people. We can, there are lots of problems that are coming up now and then in this country. You have to learn from all this and say, ah, we won't do it. We will make decisions. Just because others have made that type of decision, it doesn't mean you hit back. No. We are always fair-minded and broad-minded. Just because I'm a Muslim or I'm a Hindu, I shouldn't think everybody would be thinking like a Hindu. A Muslim will think, think of our things in a different way. A Christian will think differently. I have to be fair-minded to all when I make decisions. Accommodate everybody and go along. And only then we will have a good, or what we call one Malaysia or whatever Malaysia you call it, that is it. Otherwise, it's all slogan only, one Malaysia, we are all together, or unity. You have to make unity work by doing all this. That's why leadership traits are very important. Some politicians, they talk differently in different, different places. That's not the way. That's for politics. Divide and rule. If I'm among one group, I talk, oh, you are the best, oh, you are most important. I go to another group, oh, you are most important. No. You have to be good leader is transparent, he is able to speak the same language no matter where he is. He speaks the same language no matter where he is. <coughs> right. Courage is now. That's the courage you must have. The truth, you must be able to say this is the truth because you are very knowledgeable. You have already studied everything and make a decision. Therefore, you are cour courageous to say so. Then you are straightforward, not, not you know, uh, 
saying different things but actually meaning different things. Straight power. Imaginative. You know, any, anything innovative you want to do, you want to do creative, innovative, you must be imaginative. You must have the right uh, thinking uh, faculties and you start imagining how to handle everything. Okay, see, far-sighted, you are able to see that. Unselfish. Leaders who are selfish become self-centered. You can, shouldn't be selfish. You should be thinking of the others first. This, this is why uh, I would say, like later I will come to the class representatives and so on, how to be an unsel unselfish, uh, unselfish class representative. I, I would like to see uh, how that can happen. How that can happen. Huh? So I would like to, you to understand that when you are a leader, you have to be unselfish. And then of course you have to be very loyal. Loyal to your mission and vision, to your society, to your class, to your team, to your organization. You shouldn't betray the trust given to you for that organization, wherever you are. If you are going to be a community leader, you shouldn't betray your community. If you are going to be a leader of a nation, you shouldn't betray the nation. Right, the leaders at various levels. Home. You are a leader at home, you should be loyal to your home. Don't go out and talk, tell all the wrong things and the bad things about your home. That's not a good leader at all. Every home will have some problems. Every organization will have some problems. Every nation will have problems. A good leader will not talk ill about his own family, his home, his organization, whatever he stands for. Because you are a leader, we expect you to defend and try to put things right if the things are wrong. You are supposed to put it right, that's why you are a leader. Right? Now, you have all these traits, my dear students? Or are you developing these traits? Or you think all these are just uh, theories, uh, very difficult to design. You say, you, the moment you push it as difficult and not, oh, this one I can't, you are lost. You are lost. You see and understand it and try to see how to develop these traits in me, then you are in the right place. Of course, I'm not going to spend lots and lots of time, uh, have games with you and all those. You know, today I decided, I, did, I, had, I had a choice. To, be, uh, to have games, okay, staff, uh, all the staff, I think you can go for your, uh, your, your seminar, I think they are all getting ready, the staff, whereas uh, the, I'll give them some time to go and uh, then after one hour you all can come back after your session, we will...